Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Today, I want to record the steps for running AD prep, forest prep, and domain prep to prepare to install domain controllers that are running Windows Server 2016 in a forest and domains that are prepared for Server 2012 R2. Let's talk about some of the prerequisites. Primarily, all of our hardware meets the requirements listed above. We're only going to run forest prep and domain prep, so I'm going to have to be a schema admin, enterprise admin, and domain admin to run forest prep. And then you have to run domain prep in every domain in the forest, including the forest domain, and you have to be domain admins to do that. Now, when I read this article, changes made by AD prep, we can see these changes listed here, and then you get to read only DCs, and this says applies to server 2016, server 2012. We do not need to run RLDC prep. GP prep only needs to be run for Windows Server 2003. When we look at some of the other requirements, server 2016 requires server 2003 or better for its function level. And so domain and function level have to be 2003 or above. You cannot have any Windows 2000 domain controllers in this domain if you're going to put server 2016 domain controllers in it. This is an interesting note here. There is some rollback functionality for forest function level and domain function level. These can both be rolled back. These can both be rolled back to some degree. So you can theoretically roll back 2008 R2 function level here. But you see domain function level, you can't roll back to server 2008 R2. We're at the server 2008 R2 level and we're not going to change forest function level or domain function level in this operation. There is one other cautionary note here that if your Active Directory database is greater than 100 gigabytes, it may cause high CPU utilization by LSAS and high disk utilization from the writing of indexes, the domain controller might not respond to client requests. You want to check your AD database size. So you definitely want to make this change on a Friday so that you can have it uh, work its way through and monitor it over the weekend. Okay, we've talked about prerequisites. Let's review changes made by AD Prep. You can read that in this article. Make sure to look down below in the description for all these links. When you run AD prep forest prep and AD prep domain prep, it adds objects and attributes that are required for features for server 2016 Active Directory. As long as you're not upgrading forest function level and domain function level, then your down level domain controller should continue to operate just as they are. So currently, all of our forest schema are at server 2012 R2, and we need to elevate that schema to server 2016 so that we can begin replacing server 2008 R2 domain controllers, which are no longer supported. It's interesting to note, too, you can't upgrade directly from server 2008 R2 to server 2016. If you were going to do an in-place upgrade, you're going to have to upgrade to 2012 R2, then upgrade to server 2016. If you really like to get into the nitty gritty, you can see the actual schema updates that will take place in server 2016. And this is really mundane. Add objects, add attributes. You might not want to read this. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to point out that it is documented here. You could certainly do forest prep and domain prep as part of installing a brand new server 2016 server. It's just as part of change control, we really didn't want to do the schema updates as part of deploying a regular domain controller because we don't have the same personnel deploying domain controllers as we do managing Active Directory services at a higher level. So, you know, you might have a tier two guy deploying the domain controller when you really want a tier three person making schema updates. So we're going to perform it under change control is a separate activity. So we already talked about, we just need to do the forest prep and domain prep. RODCs are already taken care of at uh, the server 2012 R2 level. And the domain prep GP prep was only necessary with server 2003. So this article running AD prep is careful to inform you how to determine that AD prep ran successfully. So we open ADSI edit. We're going to connect to the configuration. 
and this article saying to check forest updates. CN forest updates and we can see all of the information that's taken place there. So there's your 2003 update already. There's the RLDC update already. Double click on forest updates. Right click on active directory update and check the properties. And here you can see it's revision 15 which is the 2012 R2 value. So we'll see that increment when we update to server 2016. Connect to the schema and check the schema version. And that's 69 right now. So server 2012 R2 is 69. So to verify that domain prep ran successfully, you want to go to the default naming context, system, domain updates, right click on Active Directory Update, get the properties. Okay, so let's go do that right now. Connect to default naming context, system, domain updates, Active Directory Update, get the properties and that revision is 10, indicating that it's server 2012 R2. So let's just check the prerequisites for the account. My administrator account is a domain admin, an enterprise admin, and a schema admin, so we're gonna be able to succeed with that. We've already mounted up the ISO for server 2016. You're going into the support folder, AD prep folder. That's where the AD prep resides. There we go. So we're already there, and here we go. So here we have to press capital C and hit enter. And you see it's off and running, converting, upgrading schema to version 87, and it's carrying out those LDF files, those contents here. That's what we're seeing go by. Okay, so we see that uh, forest prep is done. Okay, so now we're just going to run AD prep domain prep. Wow. Wow, that was quick. AD prep successfully updated the domain wide information. So let's go ahead and check and see that those changes did take place. I'm going to hit refresh here. Okay, so that incremented from 10 to 15. Yeah, see here, verifying domain prep. And that's that domain updates, active directory update properties. The value was 10. We can see it's now incremented to 15. So the properties of the schema should go from 69 to 87. There we see that. And then in the configuration, active directory update properties, the revision is 16 and it was 15. So we can see AD prep forest prep and AD prep domain prep did succeed. Okay, so again, make sure to look for the links in the description down below for this article on updating domain controllers to Windows Server 2016 and running AD prep, and you can follow the links in there to these other articles. Make sure to like this video, click over here to subscribe, and click up here to watch my Active Directory playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.